Do not have to eat them if you don't like them. Never try all of them. Really nice. Live your life, bro. Give it a go. Yeah. If, if you yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. All this, Jamie? Yes or no? <laughs> Alright, hi, I'm Mike from Fit Gamer, and the activity that we're going to do today is a bit of a shopping trip so that we can provide some snacks for Cloud9's Overwatch team. During their one hour break between 3 and 4 o'clock, is we're going to do a 15 to 20 minute exercise activity session and then provide them with some healthy snacks so that they can get through that 4 to 6 p.m. scrim session um, and then have dinner at 6.15. So we want to get them refreshed and up and out of their chairs. So let's shop for some food right now to um, make them a healthy snack. So the priority in the food today is it's going to be real food, no sugar, and just the balance of macronutrients, carbohydrate, fat, and protein. Here we go. I'm looking for berries. So blueberries. Strawberries. Um, I was going to go for blackberries, but the raspberries are right here. So let's go for raspberries. So the idea is now um, roughly a cup of berries for each person. And then I'm going to look for some almonds. Uh, this is not the almond section. This is not my home grocery store, so follow me this way. Crackers are processed foods, but I'm going to choose to give each person five or six crackers with some cheese and meat. Um, these crackers are essentially nothing more than Seeds, quinoa, um, sesame seeds, soybean, and brown rice all smashed together. So the idea is there's not a too much um, there's not too much carbohydrate in this, but it's enough crunchiness to satisfy the palate and to eat also the fat and protein that's in the cheese and the meat. Uh, let's go this way. So having a prepared snack for these guys um, does a couple of different things. One, it incentivizes them to do the workout because they know I'm gonna feed them after this little workout set. And the other thing is that it allows them to eat a mini meal, right? You notice this snack is not gonna be like a cake and some cookies and some chips. It's gonna be a well-rounded sort of five or six different things that, um, that don't overdo eating because they're gonna be scrimming for two hours. Um, it's gonna satisfy their palate and their stomach so that they're not gonna be hungry during this two hour scrim break. But I also don't wanna ruin their dinner. Two packages of turkey breast. Now I just need some almonds. What do you think those are? Almonds, okay, I'm gonna go with the roasted and unsalted almonds because the final thing we're gonna add to this is um, I'm gonna grab a bunch of fresh olives, lots of good fat and olive oil in them. And um, since there are already some salts, I don't wanna overdo it on the salt. I actually have no idea what this group of individuals likes. I don't know their food preferences. I don't know what they normally eat, but I'm gonna offer them just real food um, and they're gonna like it. The lifelong dilemma. Self-checkout or go with a checker. Self-checkout or go with a checker. Self-checkout or go with a checker. <laughs> Since you guys have started doing a few days a week of activity, the worst possible thing to do is take an entire week off. So this kind of workout set, while it does matter to a certain extent what you do, if you do things that you are familiar with, put together in a rough order for about 20 minutes, the idea is it just keeps you in the mindset of, today I'm going to get some physical activity. Because people have this idea that it's 
it's either an hour or nothing. I would much rather do day after day, 10 or 15 minutes of work, rather than just doing one or two workouts that are longer for the week. And so um, now let's go inside and get a sound. Yes, sir, you prefer. I'm okay, thank you. you so the idea on finding foods for snacking was just to find something with a balance of the macronutrients, carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Typically what we default to when we snack is stuff that's really high in carbohydrates. Some people like the salty thing, so they, they grab a bag of potato chips, and if you open the big bag of potato chips 15 minutes later, they're completely gone. You feel a little bit like crap, and um, you've done nothing healthy for your body. 15, 20 minutes later, you start to bog down, your stomach feels like crap, and you're not focused on the game. Others of us focus on grabbing the things that are high in sugar because they make us really high, but about 20 to 30 minutes later, they also result in a crash. And the final thing that I'll say is that we've covered today in like 40 minutes, less than 40 minutes, four of Fit Gamer's um, pillars of health. Number one, the lifestyle component. The fact that you got outside and just were in the outdoor environment for a while. Some people never go outside, like for a week at a time. I'm gonna say that that's likely, <laughs> that's likely not very good for you for a whole host of reasons. I'll leave the lecture until later. So the lifestyle pillar is fulfilled because we actually went outside for a while. Number two, physical maintenance. You got 20 minutes of physical activity that had Izzy not kicked you out and I not pulled you out. Maybe you wouldn't get any physical activity for the day. So there's physical maintenance. Number two, there's nutrition. You actually got a snack that was relatively healthy and um, you fed yourself before moving on into the next scrim. And then number four, um, the mental conditioning side of things. The fact that you got your head outside of the game to focus on something else and that you're going to sit back down and be ready to focus on the task at hand at 4 p.m. All right, whether you're an elite eSport athlete like these Overwatch players from Cloud9, or you're just a recreational gamer who spends a lot of time honing their craft, trying to improve, you need consistency in your training, whether it's the physical part of things or the in-game stuff. You also need consistency with your diet, your sleep, getting outside, getting regular exercise, communicating with other people. Um, the five pillars of health work for everyone if you just dedicate a little bit of time each day to each one of the pillars. See you next time.